In this Bonsai 3D tutorial, we will discuss the measure operations, represented by the first three tools in the second row of the Manage Suite. They are Measure Quantities, Measure Distance, and Measure Angle. First is the Measure Quantities tool, and it is used to extract information about an object. First we generate a cube, then activate the Measure Quantities tool, and then click on the cube. Information for the object is displayed in the Tool Options palette, Observe that it is divided into two tabs. The Selection tab tells you the type of entity that is currently picked, whether it's an entire object or a face, outline, or segment. The second tab, Quantities, lets you know more about the entity selected. With our cube in this example, we can find out its total surface area, volume, and center of gravity. It goes without saying that we're able to use the Measure Quantities tool on multiple entities that can be different types. We shall pick a face in a segment of the cube, and here's how we do it. With the Measure Quantities tool active, place the cursor over a face, then press the Command key on Macintosh or the Control key on Windows. When the face is highlighted, click and it's picked. Next, place the cursor over a segment, then press the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows. When it's highlighted, press Shift, then click. A few clarifications about picking should be useful. Picking is discussed in detail in another video tutorial. The Pick Preview shows you what entity will be picked when we click. When placing the cursor over an object, the whole object is highlighted. But when you press the Command key on Macintosh or the Control key on Windows, the part the cursor is on won't be highlighted and will be picked when we click. This is how we were able to pick a face in a segment a moment ago. Also, recall that to pick multiple entities, we have to use the Shift key after the first click as we did before. We can see in the Selection tab of the Tool Options palette that a face and a segment are selected. And the Quantities tab is the combined information of the segment and a face. Note that zero feet is displayed in the Volume field. That's because surface objects are selected and not 3D solids. Numerical information may or may not be displayed in these fields, based on the type of object or objects picked. The Measure Distance tool is next, and it's used to measure distance between points. The tool is pretty simple. A single click of the mouse sets the point from which you want to measure. A line is then rubber banded and follows the direction of the mouse. As you move the mouse, a balloon appears above it, displaying the current distance from the first point clicked. Here you can see that there's exactly 10 feet between the two cubes. A second click ends the operation. But what if we want to measure the distance between two points that are not on the same plane? Here we have a spiral stair and a cube. We begin this example by observing the only option available to us in the Measure Distance Tool Options palette. It is named Also Measure Perpendicular and is unchecked by default. Clicking in the box or simply pressing and releasing the Command key on Macintosh or the Control key on Windows toggles this option on or off. Now with the Also Measure Perpendicular option active, we can find out how tall the spiral stair is by clicking on a corner point of the top stair. Once we do and begin moving the mouse, Bonsai 3D automatically infers a point on the reference plane perpendicular to the first point clicked. Here we can see that the height of the stair is exactly 10 feet. Additionally, notice that our cursor is rubber banded to a third point forming a triangle. Here we move it to a bottom corner of the cube and see that it's 11 feet 6 and 3 8 inches from our first point clicked at the top of the stair. And if we move the cursor to a top corner point of the cube, we can see that the cube is 4 feet shorter than the stair. You may have noticed during this example that the guide and object snaps in the Snap Tools palette were active by default. We left them this way on purpose in order to facilitate our measuring. Now we move on to the Measure Angle tool, the final operation covered in this tutorial. We will measure the angle of this 3D wall created with the Vector Line tool. With the Measure Angle tool active, click on the corner point of the walls. This first click defines the apex, or the center point of the angle. The next click sets the start angle of the measurement and triggers the display of a bubble showing the current angle as the mouse is moved. 
As we extend the yellow rotation circle to the opposite end of the wall, observe that the angle is 136.79 degrees. Note that we can flip the yellow rotation circle by pressing and releasing the Command key on Macintosh or the Control key on Windows. When we do so, the complementary angle is displayed. One more click and the operation is terminated. This concludes the Bonsai 3D Measure Tutorial.